Look out for Mr. Stork, that persevering chap. He'll come along and drop a bundle in your lap. Why was this such a hotly contested event? The Toronto Stork Derby. Yes, Rich, you're going for your... No, you're not. You tease. It's the provisions of a very eccentric will which left a prize. It's like some 50s Ealing comedy. This, this very eccentric, very rich man left a prize to the woman who could give birth to the most children in 10 years. Oh, yes. Oh, and yes. it was called the Stork Derby, and as that, in uh... the stork delivering a child. And um, there was great fuss about it because uh, two women gave birth to 10 children in that 10 years. But amongst them was a stillborn child and, and three or four obvious bastards. And the judges <laughs> talked about this and used the phrase obvious bastards. Um, uh, and eventually, because the money actually became worth more and more, because it was actually in stock, which, which, which was highly successful, some tunnel. Uh, so it was worth about $750,000 by the end of it. Canadian. But eventually four women who gave birth to nine children shared the prize, and the two who were disqualified were given 12 and a half grand each. He had other weird provisions in his will. He left, he left shares in racetracks to anti-gambling clerics. And <laughs> sh shares in breweries to prohibitionists. <laughs> so he was a weird old fella, Millar. What a day. Fifteen deliveries and one to go. Everybody's glad to see the stork. Here, stork, have a drink to the new baby. Oh, have another. Come on, bottoms up. One for the road. You're gonna be social. You're gonna be social. You just can't refuse their generous hospitality. Their hospitality. You just can't refuse them.